Hi. So I want to come on here and say that there are a lot of things that can go into your mind when you're creating something. A lot of things that can sort of infiltrate your mind, including your own self. But the key to create something really well and to build something that's like really strong and sustainable, whether that's a business or it's a body or it's networking connections, anything, anything like a program, an offer, a product or service, um, content online, if, if you're a content creator, a solopreneur or an entrepreneur or an influencer, anything that you want to build. It's sometimes really, um, it can get really confusing in the beginning in those moments where you feel like you really can't come up with an idea. So you get yourself down about that. You get yourself down, right? And I'm so adamant about this right now because I can see how that has in the past, now it's in the past, how this has sort of like stunted my, my creation process. And I think that the best thing to, to realize when you're building anything at all is that you have to get good at accepting those thoughts. Just not accept, well, you do accept them. You accept that they're coming up. You can't resist things like that. Accept that they're coming up. Watch them. But always make sure to align with your inner voice. And I'm not trying to post this to kind of like insinuate any sort of manifestation stuff. I'm not trying to post this to insinuate any sort of kind of like spiritual stuff or anything like that. This is just me being real. Like you, you really need to get to the point where you can kind of just focus on your own voice and really block out all the other distractions because to be honest with you like if you are sitting here and you are worried about every single voice in your mind every single voice in your head which isn't really even in your head it's just like fake thoughts but you know because you always have the power to control your own mind but you have to get really crystal clear crystal clear on what your true ideas are like you know what i mean like have that discernment to know like this is what I want. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, so for example, like I'm writing online and I basically write about entrepreneurship and how to develop yourself in a way with personality and skills to be the type of person to have a business that actually works and that really does help someone else, that actually adds value to someone else's life. I've gotten in my head about these things. I've gotten in my head about feeling like I can't come up with an idea fast enough or I can't come up with an idea in a really good way or like if I type something like maybe that I just typed that the wrong way or something like that you know things like that just realize that first of all that's just part of the creation process that's nothing that you need to feel bad about you should actually feel happy that that's happening because when you're focusing, first of all, in the very, very beginning, because that's like who I'm writing to right now with my, with my content on my blog and everything, which is linked down below. But in the very beginning, when you start getting those thoughts in your mind that are telling you things like, oh, like, you know, like, when you start telling yourself, I couldn't write that idea fast enough or like whatever, like little minute things like that. You might not be getting that specific idea, but other things or something like that. Like telling yourself, I can't, you know, come up with an, idea, with an idea fast enough, I can't develop this uh, product fast enough or, or whatever, understand that that's part of the process and that you should be happy about it, like I was saying, because that just means that you are so focused to the point where you can now even realize those thoughts. To the point where now you can even see, you're so focused on creating that you're now focused on the other thoughts. But then now, the, when you realize that, don't get upset or anything about that. Now the journey just is you realizing your own truth and realizing that those other things are important and that your own voice is what matters. And then you just don't get upset that you couldn't create something fast enough, like an article or like a little post, or you couldn't do something fast enough, or that you you like just couldn't just figure something out in a specific fast way or something. Because first of all, 
fast isn't the goal. If you want to build something, first of all, sustainable that lasts and that's like going to be something that allows you to actually add value to people's lives. You want to make sure that, first of all, you're taking your time on it. You do have some urgency with it. You know what I mean? Like you actually put in the work, obviously, like that's just a given discipline. But you do not want to rush anything. So especially when it gets down to that, like specificness of it, when you're creating the thing, when you're actually doing the thing, don't get down on yourself because you know what? A lot of it is just divine timing. Really, things do happen at their own time. And I know that that's a lot of what kind of messes people up or just makes people quit a lot, is that they just can't trust that things do happen at their own time. Like, you just can't see the overall bigger picture right now. But all you need to do is just focus right now on what you're doing and realize that whatever it is that you're working on right now, that it's just up to you to feel really calm and relaxed about you maybe messing up on something. Maybe you not meeting up with all your goals or tasks that you have for a given day. Or that you can't sort of understand something quickly enough. Or that you didn't network fast enough. Or that you didn't do this, X, Y, or Z, whatever, on any given day. Because sometimes it is the case. I mean, usually it really is the case that Number one, when you like open up a post or you turn on your camera, maybe you will have a blank mind for like a couple of seconds or something like that. And then that just, those are like the seconds where like your true self is kicking in. You know, after you, for example, like going on a run or, or going to eat or something like that, then you finally sit down, right? Like for example, after doing something, you finally sit down and you realize, okay, now I'm gonna write. Like you go to write now. You open up your laptop. Why do you think that all of a sudden, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, just chill out, relax. Like, I mean, I don't know. Really, I'm just in the season of being okay with me getting literally any thought in my mind. Any thought or voice perceived to be voice in my mind that tries to make me believe that I can't do something. Because you know what never, ever, ever, ever goes away? Your awareness that God's given you. Like the fact that you can even realize that, like that is you. That, that is, I mean, isn't that amazing just to know that that is you looking at that happening? Which means that you still exist, like you're still alive, you're still here. So it's like you, you really have to give yourself a chance to chill out, to process whatever's happening, and to ensure that no matter what, you're not gonna rush anything, including your ideas. When you think about people getting really good, like you know how people say that people meditate for a long time or something, like Steve Jobs, to, in order to come up with Apple, or he thought of Apple or something like that, I don't even know, something like that. He meditated for a long time, and then I'm pretty sure that when he was meditating, that very first minute, he did not think of Apple, or he didn't get that idea downloaded. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure about the specifics. I'm pretty sure it was not on the first meditation, on the second, the third, and I'm pretty sure if he got it on the fourth, that it wasn't on the first minute. He probably got it on the fourth after meditating for one to two hours. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, just relax, calm down, chill out, because you need to be your biggest fan. You need to be your biggest fan even in those moments where you feel like you just do not know what to create that's when it matters the most when the anxiety gets really bad when the thoughts in your mind get bad or you see them like like seeming convincing and stuff like that just know that god has got you really from the bottom of your heart just know that the good ideas come when you're relaxed and maybe the reason that you aren't feeling like you can even generate an idea fast enough, it's because God wants you to relax. Because God wants to tell you that, okay, listen, you need to just have a clear mind right now so that you can see the idea that I'm about to put in your mind. You need to observe your, your thoughts right now. Observe the ones that aren't helping you 
so that when you're finally done flushing those out and realizing that none of those those thoughts are literally true in this moment like those thoughts that you can't do it you literally just watch that thought and you say do what like i literally just opened my laptop like you know what i'm trying to say like just literally just open my laptop like two seconds ago you know what i mean like come on like get real like it's just a thought it's just a thought and then you just flush those thoughts out realize it's not you realize that you still are intact as a person as a psyche as a mind a spirit soul you know as a person in general you still have your mind there because you're even able to be aware of it in the first place and then god gives you the idea so if you want to start a business get your dream body have a lifestyle that you want i'm telling you none of those things are bad do not feel guilty not one bit for wanting that because in the midst of the storm you can totally still achieve your goals and dreams no matter how bad it gets you got this